Hey folks and welcome to School of DevOps and this is behind the scenes series where I am showing you what goes into making a course, uh, making an e-learning course that I create uh, on DevOps topics on School of DevOps as well as uh, I started creating a course for Linux Foundation. So this course uh, that I'm working on right now is um, for the Linux Foundation. It's a DevOps course, uh, a very basic introductory course and I have already started working on it last time I showed you my ideas board and uh, after coming up with the ideas and the structure now I'm deciding on the structure for every topic so let's say I have five or six uh, sections or five or six chapters as you may call it and each of that chapter um, there will be one introductory chapter and then after that there will be technical topics so there will be five topics five primary topics that I would be talking about would be cloud infrastructure as a code uh, containers CICD and monitoring or observability and for each of these technical topics I have created a structure so this is how I'm gonna follow this is my scaffold and I've just come up with this structure which th I think uh, can give it a uh, sort of a, a proper framework uh, to put and it will also help me to create the content so so here is my chapter structure basically and uh, I would begin each chapter by adding an introduction uh, next is why you should bother about this particular topic what are the concepts so why is that answer to that so what does it give you as an advantage uh, what are the concepts that you should know about as a site reliability or a devops engineer how does it work by showing you some demonstrations and what next would contain uh, learning resources and where do you go from here and so on because this is mostly an introductory topic and then I have these chapters that I've come up with the scaffold for. So this took me about uh, two to three hours to come up with these ideas. Uh, this was the second iteration. The first iteration I spent a few hours to do. And uh, this is the second iteration where I've come up with ideas for, let's say, this is uh, for infrastructure as a code. Why should you bother about it? And that's where I have listed down the advantages of infrastructure as a code. This would be one video. And then what would be the concepts where I would talk about the category categories of co infrastructure as a code. Uh, let's say focus on Ansible. Um, talk about that. Talk about Terraform and so on, and then show the demos. That's the how part where I would you know demonstrate deploying an application with Ansible, a little bit on Terraform, Docker Compose, and thinking of Vagrant and Packer as well. So that's uh, for one tool. Uh, and then I do the same for everything like CIC, why, what, how, uh, what next. Observability is monitoring where we talk about uh, mainly logging, Prometheus, ELK stack, containers is about Docker and Kubernetes. And uh, this is how my structure looks like. And uh, uh, I've started working on it. I'll also be batching. Uh, the work because typically I batch the work because uh, same type of work let's say I'm creating the screencast and uh, recording the voiceovers I would consider that in one batch then the second one would be uh, the talking head videos like I'm speaking right now uh, in front of a camera uh, so it takes uh, a little bit of a more work more efforts um, I sometimes write a script as well so I need to work on that and uh, that's uh, the second batch the third batch is typically the introductory part where I have to create sometimes slides sometimes think about a presentation so I need to think about the um, way I would present that topic begin with that uh, that logic so this is the second iteration of uh, first iteration was ideas creation uh, the second video is this my video is about um, the structure that I'm going to follow and I would start working on um, this voiceovers and the technical videos and I'll show more insights into uh, my process and that would also give you a pretty good idea about how a course creation works uh, how much of efforts go into it and so on so I hope you find these kind of videos useful uh, if you do definitely um, you know comment on it uh, let me know what else you would like to see uh, from School of DevOps the process behind the scenes and so on so uh, until the next time thanks a lot and uh, have a great day bye bye